<laughs> and welcome everyone this is it we have lift off it's happening this is it to the moon is live in the world this is a festival we've been working on backstage yeah for the past what like i mean long long time <laughs> long time but long enough to actually be super thrilled and excited to finally put it out there in the world uh, here you are live in Nelly Benayoun studios on top of a nightclub called the Village Underground in London and we are currently in our studio with an all-female crew you yeah. have with me here I'm delighted to introduce you to Ayanna Blair Ford hello everyone assistant director who has been working endlessly with me to make this thing happen. Uh, we also have people backstage, you know, working on the website that is flying objects. I mean, there is so many people involved with this project. It's about 90 of us, 90 strong collective uh, of people coming from all different backgrounds, uh, different places of the world. We also have friends, partners that are also building and making of this uh, festival a very global network and opportunity for youth and nightlife and nighttime workers to join in. Anyway, we're going to get into more detail about what Tour de Moon is, but yeah. I just want to show you a bit, first of all, as to where we are. <laughs> so you have Juliette Wilson over here, and we have Malena Arcucci. Malena, I don't know if you're there as well. Here you go. <laughs> uh, and we will have probably more people joining in from the team in a few seconds. Anyway, with that in mind, today it's a bit of an exciting time, Malena. It's very exciting. Yeah, I'm Why? so I'm so because I'm so ready to talk about Tour de Moon finally. Yeah, because we still have not said what the hell is this. <laughs> yeah. So everybody's confused. Everybody's wondering what are these people talking about, and yeah. is this even Tour de Moon as in tour a tour? So we are <laughs> effectively touring England in 2022 over the summer, May yep. June 2022. But more immediately, we encourage all of you to go and head into our website, todemoon.com, yep. in which you will be able to see all of the different programs of this festival that will allow you to collaborate with the moon. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And when we collaborate. Say, and when we say collaborate the moon, with the moon, it's not just like, oh, yeah, there's the moon there. Let's draw a picture of it. Like, no, we are literally collaborating with the moon. And we're going to tell you a bit more about Moon Bounce and how we've managed to get music from Earth to the moon and right back again for this festival. And this is going to happen every month during the full moon, by the way. I mean, any time that the moon is actually high a knife in the sky, because, yep. you know, the moon is a very sensitive satellite sensitive, of ours. Sensitive so we all have stories with the moon. You know, it's our universal satellite. But for this festival, the moon becomes a main character and really a landscape for us to bring in radical imagination. So I think this is the idea with this whole festival. We want to completely reinvent everything that we know to date. So economics, politics, yep. society, borders, nation states, all of that gone. We yep. need to, you know, we need Starting to put this. Again. And, but we need to acknowledge the past as well and make sure that we don't repeat history. And of course, when we look at the story of the moon right now, it's completely the opposite. It's actually a repeat of history, right? Yeah. It's extraction, it's colonization all and on again. And so what this festival is trying to do here is to actually support the development of new utopias and new radical thinking yeah. that will actually eventually make their way into the way that we establish ourselves, organize ourselves as communities, in England, in the UK, but also beyond all over the world. So it really is about building this kind of like global network of people that wants to reinvent and say, actually, things the way they are right now don't work. Let's make yeah. something different. Exactly. And I think part of what we're doing and part of what we're really excited about is throughout the festival and throughout our experiences and events and talks, we're going to be getting people from all different sectors and industries and walks of life to get together to have these conversations to figure out, okay, how do we make our next world? How do we make the moon? How do we make our next life even better than it is now? So we're going to have, you know, the example of like, you know, NASA scientists talking with spoken word artists or musicians speaking with athletes or I don't know what biologists. Nightlife workers, performers. All in all, everything that yeah. is happening during the nighttime. Yeah. All talking, all figuring out, okay, what's next for us as humanity? 
that's what it's all about. So shall we dive in into the program? So first of all, everyone, you can stop us at any time because it's call me. Yeah. So we are accessible. You can call us. Literally, our phone number is on the <coughs> website, www.tourthemoon.com. You can call us at any time. I mean, any time, actually, during office hours, <laughs> please. Between 10 and 5 p.m., we have a number. And actually, you can call us now. So usually you can text us, but you can call us now and we will pick up the phone. The phone is here, actually. The phone is right there. <laughs> it's a big red phone at 0737-7837-842. And I believe it's actually appearing on Twitch if you're looking at us on Twitch right there, down there. So please call us. We will pick up the phone as and when. But meanwhile, I'm going to dive in and our website and actually share with you what we are all about. So if you Google www.tourthemoon.com, you're gonna end up on this page with this giant monster there. <laughs> there is actually um, a costume. It's a costume that takes part in Moon Expanse. So Moon, you know, Tour the Moon is actually eight different strands, eight different programming strands that range from like I explained from sports to music, to film, to digital art, outline, you're gonna be able to talk to the moon. Yeah. We also have music, a new alien <clears throat> genre. We're also launching a record label tonight. Yeah. Uh, and it's an intergenerational record label. Mm -hmm. What's happening with the international, re uh, yeah. intergenerational record label? Yeah, let's talk people through that. So as part of Moon Music, we have, as Nelly said, our, our, our record label. Um, and our record label is gonna be creating music based on conversations between the older generations and the younger generations. So we're going to get people from the ages of 18 to 25 in a room to have a conversation with people that are 65 years old and over. <clears throat> and the idea is that, you know, through using some prompts and through asking some specific questions about life on earth and our future lives, we're going to get some really interesting conversations in between the generations about, you know, things that we've learned and how to not repeat history. So and, yeah. and all of this record and all of this collaboration, they also weaved in with uh, Telescope Sound from mm. Jodrell Bank, one of our partners in the project, because we actually won this grant, which is a nationwide grant, yeah. basically, through a competition. And we did this together with other friends and other directors as well. Uh, let's name them. We transfer, which you might have used before, which is sharing file across yeah. the Internet. Uh, we also have Union of Justice, which is a charity uh, for racial justice and environmental justice that is led by Majin Majin, our last European MP, uh, but also uh, was formerly the mayor of Sheffield. We also have Adam Teske, who is uh, the director of the manufacturing plant of the vinyl factory, so he's making records. And for the purpose of this project, he's actually going to do all of the record for the intergenerational yep. uh, record label. <laughs> and then finally, we have Jodrell Bank, which is a telescope that is dedicated towards the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. And it's a telescope that is just off Manchester. And it's scooping the world for the sound of the universe. So we have a lot of recording there that yeah. we weave in. And every, you know, about six different EPs uh, are going to come out of this whole project. And yeah. we are going to release them as we develop. Yeah. But mainly all of the activation will happen over the summer 2022. Sure. So Moon Music, we have the record label. We have the Moon Orchestra, which is... Uh, the Moon Orchestra is a group of young musicians who are going to be exploring this new genre of music that we're talking about. Um, so we're looking to get a bunch of young musicians to come with us on tour throughout the festival, making music, hanging out, um, pushing the idea of, of Tour de Moon to the wider public. And uh, I and I'm seeing a big button here. Oh, yeah. A big apply now button. What, what is that big button? <clears throat> so that button. I'm going to press that button. Click now. it. Click it. So that button is to lead you to all of our bursaries and open calls. We have over 850 bursaries, over 800 opportunities for people to get involved with the festival in some way, whether you're a nightlife artist, a maker, a creative, a dancer, a singer, an actor, there, there are spaces for you. And not just performative people, if you're a scientist, a researcher, a thinker, an activist, there's space for you too. 
And I mean, and this is really exciting for us because actually we won this grant and we thought, you know what, we want to redistribute it. I mean, it's yeah. a big part of our mission as well to redistribute wealth. Yep. Uh, so, you know, we're really, really excited about this opportunity and you are the people making this program. So effectively, if you know someone that is interested and want to collaborate and actually do some new work as part of this program and collaborate with the moon by sending music to the moon, sending film to the moon and back. I mean, obviously we are not leaving anything on the moon. The idea of to the moon is not to plant a flag on the moon, Definitely the not. opposite in fact. Uh, and so, you know, it's all available here. So when I play, when I click on the apply button, I see these different options. So you can make a film, you can write or edit, you can share your knowledge, you can perform. So if I was to click on perform, for example, then I'm going to get more offers. So you can join as new music lineup. You can also join as part of Moon Experience. You can also DJ in Soundbass, which is, do you want to talk about Soundbass actually? Let's go and look into yes, Soundbass. So if you go, literally, you go and program on our website. I mean, obviously it's something that, you know, uh, you, you can dive in at your own time as well. So if yeah. I click on Moon Experience, Moon Experience is the immersive experience part of the festival. So it's important to say that we pick three cities, Leicester, Newcastle, and Southampton. Yeah. And these three cities is where the hub of To The Moon is going to be. This is where we're going to take over derelict building in the city center that I've closed down because of COVID. We're going to fix them in a way that we can actually develop an immersive experience, but we're also going to fix them so that youth worker and youth club can also take over after we, and far after we leave. A big part of what we are trying to do with To The Moon is not just a, an event, but a legacy. Sure. So that youth work, you know, about 50% of uh, youth work clubs have been closing due to the fact that the UK government has not supported them. So yeah. we're trying to make sure that we give back to this specific community as well as we go. So you are in Moon Experience, you arrive in Southampton, yeah. you're there over the month of May and for four nights, you're going to be able to experience what? I am. Ooh, so many things so many things so if you were to go to Moon Experiences one evening on the four days that it's in did we say Southampton or Leicester let's say we're in Leicester yes um you'll go in and the first floor or the first section will be celebration and that will be a series of short immersive films and immersive sorry short immersive theater plays and immers immersive performance shows that talk about themes of celebration as we know it on earth, but also as we can imagine it on the moon. So that's one place that's a really great opportunity for young writers, young actors and performers to come and get involved and perform in hopefully their hometown. Hopefully, you know, we get lots of people from Leicester saying that they wanna get involved with that. So that's the first section. And then the next section is communication, which is where we talk about not just communication between one another, but also communication between animals, uh, <laughs> communication between animals communication between you know aliens and like things beyond earth and then that little section leads into the sound bath which is where we will also have our hopefully some local djs but also where we have sound and game yeah you go i'm going to share this with you because this is really exciting this is like state of the art immersive experience sound experience and for the very first time you will be able to actually live DJ with recording straight from the moon. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, well, it's a project that is led by David Shepard and John Best, who are most known for, you know, being manager of big bands such as Sigoros and others. And they have worked together with Audio Technic and DNB mm -hmm. to actually put together this completely 360 immersive experience. So when you go, and go there, you're going to be completely immersed in these sounds together with light effects, strobe effects, yeah. but also recording that we are getting of bats and real live animals that will join in into the whole uh, collaboration with nightlife. I mean, it's very important to us. Nightlife is a world that you're going to hear a lot, but of course, the, the moon. You see the moon at night. Yeah. And for us, it's been really important to try and give back to that community who has been extremely impacted by COVID and unfortunately didn't receive any COVID recovery. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, exactly. a lot of community have not received the COVID recovery funds, but we thought we will kind of focus on this community and use 18 to 25, as in, uh, you know, this is where we will kind of like, uh, I would say, redistribute the yeah. most. 100%. So this is it for Moon Experience. And again, you can click on there, apply now, and then find where Moon Experience. So 
You can write a playwright that will be presented inside Moon Experience. For example, here, a short play. We have some example in there for you to dive in. Uh, you can also, here we go. You can also, I don't know, like, uh, well, anyway, you can do, you can make a film, but make a film, let's go, because we have Moon Cinema. Oh, and yeah, let's, let's, let's tell them about that. I mean, Moon Cinema, exciting. so exciting, yeah. led by Pitches Christ, the one and only Pitches Christ, underground drag legend from the US, from San Francisco. She started all of the Midnight Mass, which is when people yeah. come dress up in their favorite characters and interact with the film. And we're going to do just that. Yeah. Do you want to tell? Uh, yep, Lisa knows pretty much this. so there's so there's in terms of applications and open calls there's lots of opportunities in moon cinema so one of them is a series of short films that we'll be commissioning up to 16 films there's 16 opportunities for people to get involved and submit their films and their ideas um and these films are all again you know similar to the rest of the festival we're talking about our relationship with the moon how we communicate with each other how we can communicate with each other on the moon and kind of like what we see our future possibly being so that's one part and then the other part that's like super interesting i think is the immersive experiences so the immersive film experiences i think is what we've what we've called them and for that we're offering you know three opportunities so in each city there'll be like one main event where somebody can put forward their idea to create a film but also to create an experience around that film so whether that's people getting dressed up and there being a live drag show or whether that's you know a surround sound 360 view of something or whatever we're really open to people's ideas but these kind of immersive film experiences I think are going to be a highlight for me and Sonoma for sure. And I just can't wait to share with you some of these clips. So we have, what do we have? We have 16 short films that can be commissioned. Yep. Uh, and we also have some live, a four live immersive experience, live cinema uh, experience, and you can get 25,000 pounds to actually make that a reality. So, you know, if you go again on apply now and you look for make a film, there you go then you're going to find Moon Cinema make a short film or make an immersive experience. And then again, here you can see, I mean, we've blasted Apply Now mm -hmm. button everywhere in case you don't understand where to click. <laughs> uh, but that basically tell you again all of the great detail. And again, if you don't know what to do, where to find the information, you can text us here. You can see the phone number there will be available. Malina actually is going to be on the line on the other side. Yeah. She's, here now. Sorry, she's, she's here waiting now. for your messages so you can message you can call as well ask us more questions as we go along so anyway eight strands is quite a lot to go through Ooh. sorry they're asking on the chat about the um involved pitches christ involvement in the project so what is pitches doing oh cool yeah. so pitches christ is our curator curator creator i know that when i speak with my accent it's very C curator everyone gets curator. it everyone hears yes fine <laughs> so she's effectively our exec producer for that specific section so you will be able, able to collaborate with her directly and also with her friends so that you can kind of like well learn first of all from her experience but also like meet with some of her network and collaborate uh with her on that front so that's the kind of and actually for each of the different programming strands there is a creator so talking about this specific strand i'm having on the screen now is moon sports and it's curated by someone fantastic called citraka rokoto nya nya and Citraka is actually putting together this program and he comes with a set of inflatable yeah. um, that allow you so there is a chess pad on the floor and each youth club can actually define new rules and new sports yeah. that can take place on the moon or on planet Earth. And of course, through this war building, you can start questioning, you know, politics, films, you know, politics, society and so forth through sports. So you have a set of inflatable that you can play with, like chess, if you wish. But of course, the rules are to be defined by you. Yeah. And something you've just picked up on there about moon sports is that we really are serious about trying to connect with and and engage with kind of like local sports teams and you know young youth groups who as Nelly said we feel has really been kind of pushed aside when it comes to the pandemic and the recovery from that so yeah moon sports is going to be I think a great opportunity to get those people involved and to also you know make us think about world building in a really weird and quirky and fun and physical physical kind of way 
And uh, yeah, so you can see, obviously, this is something that you will be able to find inside all of the playground, the Leicester, Newcastle and Southampton. So people are asking us as well, how did we pick these cities? So we actually looked through England because we were the England team. So yeah. you know, we look around England and we look through 11 different locations. We did some research in terms of where are 1825, yeah. where and who didn't got COVID recovery plan, uh, where is their nightlife been the most impacted, uh, where there has been the most closure of nightclubs and so forth. And this is where we basically landed. Leicester, Southampton, and Newcastle, and of course, where there was as well, STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the art, mathematics places. So that's how this selection was made. But the convo goes everywhere. So we start in Dover, and we have we go all around England, all across the different location, and then we basically come back for a grand finale in Acne, everyone. Yeah. Uh, so we so should we should tell people about Moon Convoy. Go well, for it. Right? So Moon Convoy is basically the mini version of Tour de Moon that you're going to find in Leicester. Newcastle and Southampton um, but as Nelly says it travels up and down the country so you know whether that is a mini outdoor cinema or a mini version of moon sports or a mini moon bar where we begin to have conversations moon convoy is gonna kind of you know take you on that journey whether you can get to Leicester or Newcastle or Southampton or not you'll be able to find tour de Main in your nearest town and you can get 500 pounds to actually tune your car literally so you can join the parade as we go and travel through your city yeah. i mean it can be a car it can be a bicycle it can be any form of basically vehicle yeah so it could be I, a big old costume as well it can be absolutely that i mean i don't think we're going to be that fast anyway so you can definitely <laughs> walk around us uh with us so anyway program so we have moon convoy moon cinema moon uh moon bar is another one moon outline moon press let's go through moon press moon press is extremely thrilling and actually tonight we are releasing the first issue of moon press and it's the it's most so it's a very urgent moment for publishing to actually re you know represent as well, communities that uh, very, you know, through the years have not been represented in publishing. Namely, we are looking for, you know, Black African, African Caribbean, South Asian, East Asian, Southwest Asian, North African, Arab or Latin uh, heritage and all of these community we have been marginalized uh, for their race of culture, but also gender expression. We are also looking for deaf or disabled, um, you know, anyone that feels that they've never got a chance to actually be published. This Moon Press is for you. And actually, we really want you to contribute. Every month there is a new theme. This month is about Moonquake. So the first issue is about Moonquake, which is actually when the the moon is moving. So it's all based on actual real scientific events happening on the moon. Uh, and so we have like amazing contributors. So for example, we have Guled Ahmed that has been writing a, a poetry about being a migrant and about what Moonquake means to him. Uh, we have, what do we have? We have Asma, Asma Jama. Uh, they are an absolutely brilliant poet. Uh, they they wrote this beautiful poem. I'm not gonna read it because I'm not really good with reading poetry. No, no, but maybe you, you can. No, read no, no, it. no, no. You guys need to get it. And, and it's free. It. You guys and need to free. get it. And there will be it. a PDF as well on our websites for those of you. And usually you will find us. Uh, we will give them away in the street, in the uh, postal boxes, mm -hmm. everywhere. And you're gonna find us as well where? You're gonna find us on billboards, you're gonna find us on cereal boxes, you're gonna find us on your pack butter, you're gonna find us everywhere in the most unexpected places like your Colgate, for example. <laughs> when you brush your tooth, you're gonna be invaded by Moon Press and some thoughts about radical thinker, but also decolonizing, uh, hopefully, you know, the UK as we know it. Yeah. 100%. So, what? Yes. <laughs> Vibes. <laughs> okay. So, that was Moon Press. Uh, then, Should we talk about Moon Bar. Yeah. So, Moon Bar is actually, it's one of, I don't know if I'm allowed to, it's one of my favorite. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it's one of my favorites because I love the idea of getting people together that you would never even imagine, imagine having, having a conversation. So, Moon Bar basically is, you know, you're in Leicester. During Tour de Moon, it's the second night of the festival. And you're like, okay, what do I want to do tonight? What have I not seen from Tour de Moon yet? So you go, you're walking down the street and then you see this bar and it's all lit up and it has Tour de Moon signs on it. And you're like, okay, this must be where Moon Bar is. 
you go inside not only is there like a light show and like crazy crazy moon music playing super loud but in the corner there's also the opportunity for people to sign up to have a chat sign up to get a seat for the talks later on in the day so then the main event of moon bar will be a set of conversations with people whether that is an asset scientist and a spoken word artist an athlete or a musician a performer or a researcher or an activist these people will be up on a panel having a conversation about what the world could be and and what mistakes we've made and how can we not make those same mistakes again and i think that is so cool <laughs> and you can take over as well the light show you have a light show that yeah. is available so everyone can mix up ink trying to like reproduce some of the crater of the moon yeah. as you are at it and that will form the vj set of moon bar it's important to say that moon bar is also happening during the daytime in shisha bar i mean shisha bar in shisha places <laughs> everywhere during the daytime and also the nighttime for the places that basically are open until two or more yeah so anyway you can join as part of moon bar by sharing your knowledge so you just click in there and then you can share with us some of your detail yeah, Montserrat is asking on the chat um, if you are looking to see finished work or work in progress, an idea, how does that work? Oh, yeah. So, so when you when you apply, so let's say I'm going to apply and I want to join Moonbar, yeah? So I'm clicking here and I'm going to finally click this button. So I'm here and then I'm filling up my application. So you can upload videos, you can upload previous work, but for the sake of Tour de Moon, we ask only original new work. So you can uh, share your existing practice with us and you can share a proposal as to what you want to do with the funds that you're going to be allocated and given. So we are looking, and actually, if you're looking for the criteria, I just want to share with you as well some of the criteria. So when you go in our website at the bottom of it, you have this fact, which is frequent, frequently asked questions. If you click on that, you're going to see right there the criteria for the selection. So I'm going to introduce you to our advisory board in a second and to our team in a second. But you can see innovation is one of them, whether or not your ideas is kind of like looking at breaking the mold and kind of defining new genres. Then we're looking for the precision of the idea, how concise and how persistent is your idea and how can you actually communicate with the specific audiences that we are looking for, whether or not it's inspirational or distinctive in concept. So that's really important to Tour the Moon because we don't want to commission things that already exist. We know that, you know, economics the way that they exist. We know that politics the way that we exist. It's a complete fail. So yeah. let's start to think completely afresh and come up with new ways to mix basically sports with economics, to mix music yeah. with uh, sports, I don't know, yeah. whatever you want to do. And then basically to the Moon Ethos, whether or not it's, you know, trying to like actually support nightlife and connect as well with science, technology, engineering. We also have a lot of data available because we collaborate with people like NASA or the African Astronomical Society or many others. We also are looking for collaboration uh you know and whether or not you are collaborating as well with scientists in your piece of work so to answer your your question uh Montserrat basically you can definitely uh apply in the apply form with uh you know with some of your existing uh work but for the sake of to the moon we're gonna ask you to actually like present new work so you can speak about it what you want to do yeah give us a bit of a moon board as well so you get more of a chance to be selected yeah and it's definitely just as Nelly said you know it's it's about showing your interest and saying what ideas you have with a lot of the open calls this first round is just about getting the people that we're really excited about and really interested in and then we'll go into more detail about you know deadlines timing all that kind of stuff and exactly what it is that you're creating we'll get into that later and we are organizing a virtual class as well in December so that everyone that is interested can join in to and we will all be together to help you to actually formalize uh, your open call so that it's the best it can be by the time you submit it. So Moon Outline is another of our strength for the digital artists out there. If you're interested in making meme, if you have an OnlyFans channel, if you have a TikTok channel, if you're looking at developing new ways to actually collaborate with the moon uh, or see the moon or interact with the moon, uh, that is for you Moon Outline. And actually we're really excited because currently we are building this groundbreaking artificial intelligence that is being fed by voices from charities, uh, well, sex workers, nightlife 
life workers, nightlife creators, uh, people that have been underrepresented in festival in the past. Uh, all of them are contributing to be the voice of the moon. And you will literally be able to call, like literally call the moon and have a conversation with the moon as the festival is uh, happening over the summer 2022. So if you want to contribute with your voice as well, you can message us. And if you want to message us so we can keep as well your information and we can email you as and when you know we have an opportunity for you you can also literally email us by going on the contact page hello at tourdemoon.com and we will keep you know your information so that we can basically let you know as soon as we are ready to record you to be a part of uh, this project so anyway, so that's basically is it. Moon Press, Moon Music, Moon Outline, Moon Bar, Moon Cinema, Moon Convoy, Moon Expanse. There is really for everyone in this. Uh, and it's extremely thrilling. And it's even more thrilling today because in order to showcase to you what it sounds like to collaborate with the Moon, we have sent for the first time, and that's really exciting. We're going to share it with you. We have sent Fela Kuti. Mm -hmm. The one and only Fela Kuti, who is a political okay. activist, musician. Uh, no, I, I can play it from here. Oh, okay. Cool. And here you go. I'm going to share it with you now. We, uh, and as part of international, actually, uh, record, which is really about bringing together, you know, existing and... Uh, well, in the case of Fela Kuti, unfortunately, he passed away. But his son, Sean Kuti, came on board of the track and made a special improvisation on saxophone, which you can hear right now. So this track is available. You can listen to it on our website. This is Sean playing with his dad. Right now in Ghana, at the Ghanaian Planetarium, Elo, Jane and Jacob, they are working to actually beam it in space for the second time because we already have sent it in space and you're going to meet with Daniela de Polis in a second. But we have sent this in, in space from the North Hemisphere while the moon was high in the sky because the moon is a very sensitive satellite uh, through moon bounce technology. So what is moon bounce technology? Stay on oh, there. Sorry. Stay on this because oh, I yeah. want I want our people to also hear what this is. This track is very special, international Tiff Tiff, and we should speak about this a bit because it's a it's a track that is um, basically accusing you know all cooperation to go and rip off uh, Africa, uh, and that was you know very um, controversial track at the time and still is. And of course, we wanted to say well, unfortunately, history keep on repeating itself. So for us, it was really essential to be in this music and again reactivate it put it back into the present as to what we're trying to do to other land namely the moon yeah. but also other places so we really really honored that the kuti family let us do this and actually send it uh, to space uh, and daniela here has been working uh, to actually beam it so daniela before i make people listen to what came back from the moon uh, tell us what finally hi everyone it's such a pleasure to be part of this amazing festival and really i love the inclusivity diversity <laughs> everything about that so um yes we sent uh, this track to the moon and back as radio waves so essentially radio waves which are invisible but are very much physical uh, are beamed from uh, one station and uh, they are reflected by the surface of the moon and they return back to Earth. Actually, they get scattered all over the cosmos at that point and only a small part of the original uh, radio signal is received back on, on Earth. So this is why we hear so much distortion is because the original signal has already traveled uh, just for going to the moon about 400,000 kilo, 400, kilometers and uh, it gets uh, refracted and reflected by the surface of the moon, which is full of craters and other irregularities. So it's uh, reflected back towards the entire cosmos and 
only a small, small part is actually collected eventually by the receiving antenna. So it's actually really a, a magic that uh, we can still hear uh, a, a bit of the original music and including all the uh, background noise that uh, is all the different um, radio waves from other cosmological sources, uh, such as the uh, background noise of the universe is also included in the noise of the moon bounce and all other radio waves that are crossing the path during transmission and reception are also kind of swept into uh, the, the sound we received. So it's really a sort of snapshot of the cosmos at the moment of receiving, uh, transmitting and receiving the signal. And this is why each time you do moon bounce, the result is always unique. You never have the same result. So I'm sure when you will bounce this track again in the southern hemisphere will be again very different, not only because I suspect the um, antennas will be different, but also because the condition of the cosmos will be different. This is what we are seeing on the screen here. You've been working with two radio transmitters we are based in Italy, right? And they have been beaming the music literally onto the moon and back. But we are also doing it from the Northern Hemisphere now in Ghana, at the Ghanaian Planetarium with Jacob and Jane. And actually, from what I heard, the Ghanaian army is involved in uh, bringing up the antenna up there. So it's pretty fantastic. We've covered all bases, the Northern Hemisphere, the South Hemisphere. Fela Kuti and his son are definitely gone to the moon and back, is all I'm going to say here. We've covered all grounds. Shall we listen to the track, Daniela? That yes, can, of course. We are hearing because I can appreciate for everyone, like this is mad, right? I mean, when you think about it, <laughs> we are effectively collaborating with the moon. You are beaming a signal in space and receiving something back. And this is the sound of the universe, everyone. So I just, I'm thrilled. Thrilled, thrilled to make you hear it. So here you go. So this is the moon bounce. Yeah. The volume is quite low, uh, Nelly. I just say I, I don't hear it, just in case other people might have the same problem. I mean, for some, this sounds like a lot of uh, noise, but actually, we want everyone, we really want everyone to start thinking about new alien genre. And actually, what is maybe melodic to the human ear at this point in time might not be relevant in the next few years, you know, like that might be actually the way we interact. I mean, this is as close as you can be to interacting with the universe, basically, that sound, actually. Do you want to explain a bit what we are hearing in this track? Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, I couldn't hear it on my computer, but I did, of course, play the sound. Um, so the, uh, when, when the radio waves... If you can uh, hear it to everyone as well, they can find it in programs. If they go in moon music, uh, where is lower, moon music? Lower, 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 lower. there you go, you go in moon music. You're gonna find right there into the to the moon and back. This is where you're gonna find the track if you want to listen to it again, right there. Yeah, but you were a hundred percent right, Nelly. This is really actually a physical interaction with the moon because uh, the radio waves are uh, very much physical, as I said. And when they um, when they hit the during moon bounce, they hit the entire surface of the moon, um, and they hit a little bit the surface just that. A tiny bit um, because of the power of the transmission. Um, and when actually they hit the surface of the moon, they go quite deep. So they uh, get into the crust for about two meters and are reflected by the rocks that are a little bit below the crust of the moon. So uh, what we hear is actually the reflection of the uh, slightly deeper crust of the surface of the moon. So it's a completely a physical process. And indeed it's like touching the moon just with your thoughts and, you know, but very much uh, physically. So um, yeah, this is what I really love about moon bounce, which is such a, you know, kind of strong uh, uh, contact with um, our 
most close celestial body. So I mentioned the Ghanaian army now working on sending the signal in space from the Ghanaian planetarium in Accra with uh, the fantastic Jacob and Jane Ashong here. I, I don't know if they are listening to us now, but you know, there is a connection because actually moonbands were initially invented by the CIA. Is that correct? Yes, uh, and I'm so glad that they managed to find a solution because... Um, solution in yeah. the army, I mean, this is mental. We have the entire army yes. of Ghana. It's right? amazing, the, it's amazing. They like uh, the international chief thief in space. I mean, this is... <laughs> And yeah. this really so nightmare happening here. <laughs> it's amazing. And this really links back so well with the origin of Moonbound. So like all uh, innovative technologies, Moonbound was first developed by the, the army, the, in this case by the US Army, uh, shortly after the Second World War as, a, as an espionage tool. So they used uh, the Moonbound technology to listen to radio signals from uh, the Eastern Bloc, from the Soviet Union, etc. Uh, and actually, when they launched it officially in 1960, by that time, the technology was already old because by then uh, there were already uh, the, the first satellites that were being deployed in, into space. So when actually the, the launch of the technology officially in the 60s was also a little bit its, uh, its end from the military point of view. And now it's mostly used by radio amateurs. Um, from al around the world, but it is still quite a challenging technology because you need quite a powerful antenna. You cannot just do it uh, with a small antenna because um, it requires also very specific skills. And this is why uh, I think Mario and Nando, the two radio operators who helped us, uh, have done such an amazing job considering that the condition of the moon were not ideal uh, when we reflected this track of the moon a few days ago. And we are doing it again today. So we're doing it like we mentioned twice, uh, just to cover all bases. But just so you know as well, I wanted people to see that you can also moonbound stills. So as part of moon cinema, so and as part of moon music, you will get your music, a selection of music will be sent to the moon and back. So you can live with your collaborative artwork, it will be yours. We don't reclaim ownership of any of the work that are submitted to us. I think that's very important yeah, and very, very unique, important. Uh, you know, uh, and thanks to our, actually our commissioner for understanding that for creators, actually intellectual property is everything. So we leave you your intellectual property, it's all yours. Uh, so you can do whatever you want with your track. But anyway, bottom line is some of you will get uh, from the selection would get their uh, sound moon bounce and Daniela on the other side is going to be managing all of this. And also some of you with moon cinema and with your clips and your films will be able to send some steals to the moon and back. And what does that look like when you send a steel through moon bounce technology to the moon and back? It looks like this, where you can see on the screen right there. They can't see it. Yeah, they can. Oh, yeah, yeah, they can. Can they see it? Yeah, yeah they can see it. So this what one. is this? Uh, what is this, uh, Daniel? Yes, so you know, Nelly, this is actually, uh, for those who don't know, uh, maybe a lot of young people see this things for the first time. Um, our generation might be more uh, used to this image. Uh, this image is actually on the surface of the moon, uh, has been left there by astronaut Charles Duke in 1972. And uh, it is very likely that by now it is completely bleached out because of the radiation of the sun. Uh, so um, when I developed this technology, which I called visual moon bounce, which is based, basically the extension of the moon bounce technology to the realm of visuals, so uh, images. Uh, I got in touch with uh, Charles Duke and he sent me a scanned copy of this uh, photo, uh, which I think is in the next slide. And, uh, and we moon bounced that as part of my, one of my performances. Uh, we did this uh, live. And uh, I think if there should be another photo, but if not, I'll try to describe it. So this very photo was uh, transmitted to the moon and back with the, this visual moon bounce technology. And uh, we received the very pixelated result, which is exactly what you will get by moon bouncing an image of the, of the surface of the moon, because uh, the noise that you hear in the music is essentially translated into 
pixels into visual noise. And uh, in my opinion, the image becomes more interesting because it really shows you uh, all the, you know, kind of different uh, sources of radioactivity that are happening in the cosmos while you do this uh, event. Yeah, we just wanted there to go. Show yeah. Yeah, yeah. the moon mountain there you go. and actually see how it looks when it's coming back. It's so yeah. you're able to get that as well. And thanks to Daniela Depolis and uh, again, the Ghanaian planetarium here working endlessly to send another version again of this track by Fela Kuti and Sean Kuti. Uh, we're so grateful to the Kuti family for letting us uh, experiment for the very first time uh, on this uh, specific you know, track and te technology, uh, which has been developed by Daniela and you know, in collaboration with a lot of radio, I mean, a few radio transmitters. Uh, so if you're a radio transmitter, actually, please let us know. I just want to close this. Daniela, thank you so much. Thank you, Nelly. Today. And obviously, Daniela is part of a bigger team and a bigger collective because it's a lot of us on Tour de Moon. Uh, and we, you know, we're taking a bit over the show here, but it's a bit unfair because there is incredible humans. I mean, Daniela is one of them. But I just want you to meet the advisory board who is going to be selecting the open call, selecting the bursaries on the other side. They are a team of absolutely incredible, inspiring writer, author, uh, you know, nightlife artist, uh, musician, scientist, uh, just people that break every single rule as we know them, social influencer, um, you know, like uh, anthropologist, a game maker, I mean, basically in a macro shell like uh, drag, uh, also brilliant scientists in Algeria, in other places of the world. Uh, some of them have even invented a smell. They, they managed to compose the smell of the moon out of a perfume. Uh, it's the smell of the moon, basically. Anyway, all of these people will be selecting the open call together with our team. Uh, and of course, Daniela is going to be on the other side. So you want to be good friend with Daniela. <laughs> Not that he has any impact because you will be assessed literally on the basis of the criteria that are on the frequently asked questions. And this is our team. Uh, it's by alphabetical order. So please don't slam Adam Teske for being a <laughs> part of the project. Uh, he's one of the directors, actually. So yeah, here you go. But it's quite a few of us ranging from producers to support groups to researchers to architects to well uh what else writers author people yeah straight through everything. to straight, straight through to the producers and people that are helping actually make this happen on the ground on the days during those festivals as well um where are you ayana let me where let am me, i let, let's put your I'm little oh no let's put your little like oh, here no. you go here she is oh no here our <laughs> sunshine there you go. Um, so here you go. So so you you just graduated with an amazing project, actually, Black on Stage. Yeah. And you're doing this. I did. <laughs> yeah. At but, the same time as Sol the Moon. Yes, <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I guess a a, a a a budding filmmaker. So yeah, I, I created my my debut film at the at the beginning of this year, which is yet to be released. It'll be released soon. Um, but yeah, part of the project Black on Stage, which is what I graduated with. But uh, Ayana wouldn't be able to actually apply for a bursary because she's a staff of Tour de Moon. It's really and... annoying. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing it. And I was just like, I want to do these, but I can't. I can't. It's, 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 but, it's not the right position to be in. But she will be on the other side to select <laughs> uh, the open call. So anyway, with that in mind, we're coming to an end of this. Uh, is there any fun calls for us or any question that we can maybe pick up? Uh, well, Daniela as well is there. I mean, obviously, I, I can imagine that... You're all wondering, you know, how is this even a possibility? I just want to show you as well. If you go on the Watson section of the website, which you're going to find right there in the bottom part, uh, you're going to be able to see the dates by which we're going to hit each of the different cities. We are also collaborating with the British Council. So there will be satellite events taking place in different places, like in Ghana, for example. Uh, we will also be touring, hopefully, the year after next, or after 2022, we hope that there will be Tour de Moon in many other 
places of the world. We are existing beyond nation states, and that's a big thing for us to be transnational. And so I'm going to share with you as well our mission and our mission statement to really redistribute wealth, to empower nightlife, and to bring new beginning to this world, to decolonize, and that can be, yeah, in any way, in any place. All the time, yes. um, you know, and to support radical imagination, to acknowledge the past, to celebrate with others. So that is important as well for all of our friends, who range from the African Astronomical Society to uh, basically people like NASA Servi or the SETI Institute, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute, which is looking for life in the universe. Uh, anyway, to, and you can see how we are doing this for all of them and actually will be assessed as to whether or not we're doing this right, because we have a team of youth reporter. Yeah, Here they are our youth reporter board, which are going to follow us everywhere yeah. we go to make sure that we are doing what we said on the tin, mm -hmm. that we are redistributing our grants, that we are decolonizing in the way that we uh, develop cooperative and we organize community uh so not from a top-down approach but from the, a bottom-up approach 100%. from the perspective of the land and the non-living yeah 100 percent. i think what's really exciting about this is that not only do these people will have a chance to help shape toward the moon but we are very much you know giving over control in that kind of way creatively like we we want to make sure that we're doing all the things that we've set out to do and all the things that are in our mission so super exciting i think to have these amazing 11 young people ready to help and ready to tell us when we're doing great and when we're not <laughs> it's all good it's all good and that's that share socials and we can go the ah, so we need uh, to yeah. share our socials. So our socials, you can see them all the way on top here. Yeah. So you just have to press. And we have amazing video as well by our animator, Irene, who has been working all night long. I just want to acknowledge as well, all of this team, a 90 people a team that has been working night and days to actually hit the press live button last night. Uh, you know, all the people behind, like there is real humans in there, like none of this is automated, none of this is happening yeah. beyond uh, actual uh, people's power right there. Yeah. Uh, so it's very, very important to remember that. Uh, and so we're not perfect, we're full of flows, <laughs> we're going to fuck up big time, uh, <laughs> and we need you to also help us in making sure that we do this well and right. Yeah. But we are not everyone cup of tea, that's for sure. Yeah, because that's fine. as Majid say, if you are everybody's cup of tea, you might as well be a mug. Just such a good line. <laughs> such a good line. Perfect. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Twitter, here yeah, Malena is the person powering the Twitter. Keep on following us. Yeah, give you us know, a follow. It's happening there. We also have Instagram. We have TikTok. So TikTok, I just want to show you TikTok because I'm really excited about TikTok because Malena has been making cakes. I mean, look at these. She's been to lunch. Oh, yeah. This is... I mean, Malena has been... There's more cakes, there guys. More cakes. Get ready. Get ready for the launch of To The Moon. <laughs> this is exceptional. Uh, we just can't wait. Mariana Delval and Malena Akuchi have been building these incredible assets for us. And we uh, TikTok, Twitch, we are on Twitter, Instagram, we are on Telegram. You can message us on Telegram, you can message us on WhatsApp. You can message us all the time at every time. And I will be on call as well. I want this festival to be about you, the public. It is for you at the end of the day. You can call me. I will be on call actually on Fridays. Uh, you will be able to call me directly uh, like you will do for any public events. Yeah. You can complain. You can Ask talk questions. to me about whatever you want to talk to us about directly on the red line <laughs> it will be uh myself the festival director and of course anyone from the team that want to join uh but you can literally go straight there and tell us like this is what i want yeah uh and we will listen yeah so i guess 
I guess the kind of important things to, to leave you guys with, because I guess we only have a couple of minutes left, right, is definitely check us out on this contact page of the website. We really, as Nelly said, we really want to hear from you and we really want you to get involved. So it's Telegram, WhatsApp, group chats on Telegram, text, cool. There's also emails. So I wanted to point that out as well. So hello at Tour de Moon for any questions that you have, any inquiries. If you want to talk to Nelly, if you want to talk to me, if you want to talk to anyone in the team, just shove our name in the subject line, drop us an email. And for the open calls, if you have any questions, obviously WhatsApp or Telegram us, but you can also email us at opencall at tourdemoon.com as well. And that was that, I think. <laughs> Daniela, thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you more often with more moon bounce as we unravel. We just hope that the Ghanaian army... <laughs> I can't wait to see, to hear. I really can't wait. It's so exciting. <laughs> so exciting. It's so exciting. We're very excited as well to hear what's going to happen. Anyway, bye, everyone. Thank you, Nelly and Ayana. Thank you. Message bye. And everything. We, we'll be there. Big love from the Tour de Moon team to all of you, Earthling. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.